One of my very favorite things after a trip is organizing all of my stuff, making sure everything's charged and ready to go for the next episode. Okay, so before we do anything today, I got some things to show you. First, I was wearing this shirt, but it is too hot for it now. Uniqlo Final Fantasy. I got a bunch of them. This right here is the Final Fantasy III. And it came with maybe the coolest deck of cards I have ever seen in my life. Look at these. Good Lord. Are these upside down? Just. Beautiful, I don't even play cards. This makes me wanna play cards. Next, Bitmap Books Encyclopedia of JRPGs. Look at how they package this thing. Nice art here, you open it up. There's another box, you open that up. This is how you ship a collector's item. And inside is instantly one of my favorite books of all time. I don't know how many pages this is, but this is just complete Gorgiosity. Look at this, man. Write-ups on like every JRPG of note. Oh, look at that Chrono Cross. Just gorgeous. Xeno Gears, come on, man. If you're into JRPGs, this is a must-have. This is like the Bible of JRPGs. Whew! And now it is time to write music. I feel motivated and capable. I'm not dreading it. That also means that some good music is gonna be written. When the prospect of writing music it's just so painful. How can you write good music that way? There's just no way. I've, actually, I've done that, but this will be more enjoyable for me. Arr. Okay, one song written today. It went quite well. One of the keys I found for creative work is to not worry too much if you're doing the same thing over and over again. I'm always very worried that the songs I make sound exactly like the other songs I make. They do. I try my best to make songs that sound new and fresh, but at the volume of songs that we have to make, I feel like it's very important to not get too caught up in does this sound exactly the same? Because if a song is sounding really similar, I just finish the song. And then the next time I try again to make something new and fresher to varying degrees of success. I forgot my shorts. I need to go for a run. Let's come back at it tomorrow. Fresh with a fresh brain. I'll see you. Hello everyone, welcome back. We had a very successful music writing day yesterday. Let's get started once again with more Muzak. Muzak. You know what this is? I don't either. Two songs done. We are rolling, man. We're rolling. Come on, man. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep the donkeys rolling. It is absolutely amazing what a sunny day can do for your mood. Okay, it is time to mow the lawn. I'm on a once every two week schedule for the front yard and the backyard on alternating weeks. Not exactly on purpose that way, but that's how it's worked. Battery's charged, I've got my headphones. this applies to everything in life, but I do know that for creative pursuits, doing the hard thing is almost always the right decision. Writing new music takes a lot of effort and it's really difficult, but it always feels so right when you actually finish writing that music and you're like, I'm so glad I did that. When I teach my exercise classes, coming up with new choreographies is so much effort and it takes so long but I always feel so much better when I do it, and the classes are so much more fun, so much more entertaining and new and fresh. When we're filming Adventure Archives and we actually take the time to get the shot that we know is the shot that we wanna get, it's always worth it in the end. It's difficult at the time, 
but it's always worth doing the hard thing to get the good result. Also, when I'm writing music, sometimes I know where I want a song to go, but I can't figure out how to get there and it's gonna take a lot of thinking and experimenting to get there. And I can always just do the easy thing and then just do something else that I know how to do that doesn't sound exactly what I want it to be. But doing the hard thing and getting it the way that I have it in my head, even if it's difficult, always worth it. Actually, you know, maybe it does apply to lots of things. Because even in life, having those difficult conversations that you don't wanna have, or making that difficult decision to do something that you don't wanna do, you'll almost always feel better after you've done it. With that being said, let's do the difficult thing. Although we will be using a chord progression that has been used many a time before. I don't know chord progressions in this way, I just kinda of do them off the cuff, but I saw this one today and I was like, oh yeah. Robo's theme, it is. When was the last time you were on the vlog? Oh, me personally? Yeah. What, am I on there right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just passed some painting trucks and they had all these ladders on top of their truck. And I realized that so many times people don't think about their setup and their working environment is the same way that you would if you were like a painter. If you're a painter, you absolutely have to have all those ladders, right? You could make do with standing on some chairs or whatever that you find in the environment. But if that's your job, you want the right tools with you at all times. I guess what I'm trying to say is that for years, I never really thought that much about the tools that I use for my work. But the painter needs their ladders and the computer user needs a mouse that actually works with a mouse pad and a big desk. Yeah, you can use chairs and little stools and stuff to paint, or you could use some crappy desk that's too small with no mouse pad and a terrible mouse. But if you wanna be good at what you do, you have to at least have a bare minimum level of tool available to you. Obviously, determination and effort matter way more than the tools, but at some point, man, you don't need to live off of determination and effort. You can get tools that better serve your purpose. And with that, that is it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a good weekend. Hope you've enjoyed the new Adventure Archives episode. We're already at work on the next one. We'll be at work on the next one after that soon enough. The train keeps rolling. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Hello once again, let's get started. Uh...